Hello everyone. Uh, I got this new package in the mail. It's a FXW dog playpen, and this one's the medium size black with a bunch of panels. So it's, it's a pretty heavy box. Now, we have looked at these many, many times over and have not purchased one, but living in this thing full time with a, uh, our wonderful golden retriever who's running around here, Piper, we love uh, letting her run outside and this could offer us a way to do that. So I'm going to unbox this and check it out and see how it sets up and give you my thoughts. We did not pay for this. This was sent to us by this company to do this review with. So I'm doing a review. Know that the product was free to us and I have no ties to them except I need to make a video. So here is my video unboxing. It's, it's a substantial piece of gear. And again, we've looked at these multiple times. I don't know that it was this brand we looked at or it was just a brand, but anyway, this, it looks packaged safe. It comes in the black uh, paint powder coat looking. So. My biggest concern with it presently is where would I store this if we keep it? Now, we have the bed of the truck to put things in, but we have Tupperware bins back there that kind of fill up the back of the truck already. So that's my major concern all around is where do I put this thing? Let's check out the instructions. It has a nice letter. Letter to our FXW families. Dear friends, thank you very much for purchasing our product. It is our honor to welcome you to this family. Unlock your freedom. Savor the moment. This was our original intention in developing this product. We hope that this new FXW dog playpen will keep your pets safe and happy so that you can enjoy a more relaxed outdoor life. Since our products are made of metal, typically handling during the shipping process may result in superficial cosmetic damage to the surface of the product. Please refer to the examples below and it gives you some photos. Although we are developing a more impact resistant outer packaging, occasional instances of damage do occur during transit and they're unavoidable. If you encounter this kind of issue, please don't worry. Please contact us ASAP. We will do our best to help resolve any problem within 24 hours until you are 100% satisfied. And we promise to bring you a five-star user experience. That's a great guarantee. Thank you for taking time to read this letter. Please return to nature, embrace the heart, kind regards, FXW members. And it gives you a number of photos down here and then on the back of this are just general instructions. It tells you how to set it up. You can set it up in a, in a U shape with your rig being the background. You can set it up in a circle with a playpen or a square. There's a number of ways you can make it. And it even has a little doggy door. So let's go check this thing out. First of all, I see a little bit of box rubbing right here, but it's not anything that I would be overly concerned about when it gets shipped to me. You order this based on the size of your rig and the size of your dog. So it needs to be something that can't be jumping over. But here's the dog door. So it has a little dog door that you can open and close. I think that's a really cool feature. So you have some little end caps that go on the bottom of your the squares there for the door part. And then you have, these are called muffler caps, I believe. And they're just to go between the two. And you have these stakes that go in and stake them together. So all of these stinks, 20 of them, they come zip tied here to the sides. Put those off. So there's a little muffler, the plastic mufflers. Each of these has one and you have plastic things in the bottom. That seems to be extras. And these bars that go between each one seem to be really great. They're pointy on the end, so you could actually stick them in the ground. So I set this fence up and it is um, pretty great. With this size rig uh, we have here, I could set this up out here in this spot or anywhere else. And I'm pretty impressed with the way it looks. So I'm going to maneuver it around so I have it in the yard a little bit. So these gloves it comes with are like gardening gloves, but they're, they have the little rubber mats on the end. So you can pull these stakes in and out of the ground pretty easy with these gloves. Not bad. It looks good. Yeah, it looks good. I'm you know, if we were pulled like three feet forward, we could just come straight out and all the way down and straight back in and we wouldn't have to have that. That's the plan. Yeah. I'm going to set it up like that. That's cool. Wait, what do you think, Sight? I've always wanted to just let the door open and let your roam. Cool.
the extra rod would come in handy on the end panel over there to stake that last one in the ground. So all in all, I think this is a wonderful, absolute wonderful setup uh, for a rig this size. So our trailer is 27 feet long and this sets up pretty well and pretty easy. And it is something I hope, really, really hope fits in the back of our truck. Piper seems to love it. She's a 60 pound golden retriever who goes everywhere with us in this trailer and we travel all over the place and, and we're always out and about doing stuff. I like that I have plenty of panels to use it with the whole trailer or I can take and make a circle in the grass near where we're staying. And I think this will be a, an excellent addition to our camping needs. All in all, we are very impressed with this pen. Uh, like I said earlier, Blair has had this model or some very similar model in her Amazon cart for a very long time and we just haven't pulled the trigger on it. But when we can't use a lead or just you know want to be able to open the door and let her out and run into the little U-shape. So here on the instructions it gives you that you can make a pin, you know, like a circle pin or you can make a U-shape, put, put that against the rig like I did. Uh, either way is fine. It gives you a bunch of warnings on here. Don't use it inside of a place where the floor may be easily scratched or damaged because it will scratch or damage. The floor is really meant for an outdoor use, but it can be inside. It's not really something for aggressive dogs because you can knock the pan over. Um, but for Piper, it's perfect. And for RVing and for traveling, it's perfect. I really think this is a wonderful asset to our, what well, the things we already have. It's just, you know, takes up a large amount of space. So maybe we can take half of it and just use a little half of it for when we need to let her out for a little small time, or uh, we'll try to get it fit in the truck very soon. But it will fit into the back of a truck if you just don't have things like we have in the back of ours. Every interaction I've had with customer service so far has been fantastic and very timely. I've been very grateful for that. And I think this is an all in all good product. Things that make me worried about it are just prolonged outdoor use. You know, will it rust? I don't know the answer to that. And as you store it, the, the metal wires, if things are sitting on top of it, maybe bend those or uh, whatever else. But all in all, I'm very, very impressed with the product. I think it is very much worth the money. Would happily buy this any day of the week. So. If you have any questions about how we've employed it, what do we think about it in the future, uh, please let us know. And um, again, FXW, thank you very much for choosing us as your test bed for this thing. So uh, we're glad to be testers. So we'll get some photos as we travel around and, and post those and um, show you more. Thanks.